All right, so here is how to reach me. And I'm a banker. I'm a commercial and business banker for a local uh, small bank. And so, Ray, you're popularly resonated about fraud because you see that all the time. So very cool about what you're doing there. Um, so who's the audience for what we're talking about tonight? It's for anyone who's new to Python, new to programming, coding. Is there anyone like that in the audience? Thank God I'm not the only one. <laughs> So I just started getting into Python nine months ago, and this talk is for you, because so many of us have certain preconceived ideas about how fast we should be learning or what we should be learning and doing, and we're looking at all of these awesome devs in the audience and thinking, I'm mind blown. How can I ever keep up with you? Well, this talk is for you. So think about, first of all, what is your why? Why are you here? Maybe it was because you wanted to build a cool game. You're like, oh, I want to build that. Or maybe an app. Maybe uh, some kind of a data science. Maybe you're already in a, a chemist or another type of scientist and you wanted to get into that. So these are things that you have to think about because this is going to be your motivation. Well, then what happened? Someone out there convinced you that all you had to do was type in hello world and you thought, oh, I can do that. I can do it three times. I'm so smart, right? And then you realize, uh oh, oh my God, just to get started, right? It's going to be a whole lot of stuff that I don't know classes and decorators and, you know, asynchronous programming and all this type of thing. And so you're wondering, what can I do? So you pick up a book or <laughs> several books, or maybe you YouTube yourself to death. You're like, okay, I'm looking for the right teacher here. And then some of us may have went to boot camp or maybe just found some kind of an online tutorial. But you soon realize that whatever they promised you doesn't mean you're going to get it in 90 days. You know, you thought it would be 90 days, one and done, and it turned into one year, and never done. So what can you do to motivate yourself? Well, think of it like this, all right? Your favorite food. Maybe it's pizza. Maybe it's Mexican. Maybe it's something else, like seafood. Do you just go to one restaurant? Or do you go to one uh, recipe, use one recipe? No, you try out a whole bunch of different ones. And so it's the same thing with Python. Don't think that you're gonna learn it with just one book, or one teacher, or one class. It's gonna take much more than that. So what will it take? It's gonna take a lot of thoughtful planning, it's going to talk, uh, take diligence. You're going to have to really roll your sleeves up and, and really work at it every day. And give yourself time to breathe. If you don't get it this month, it's okay. In about three months, you'll wake up one morning and go, oh my God, I finally get what a function does and how to use it. Give yourself time and be patient. Let's dig a little bit deeper. So instead of just picking one method of learning, use several tools. Use videos, use books, um, come to puppy, right? Meet people. When you talk to people in context of real life, it totally changes how you are working and thinking in Python. So this is huge. Another one is to get yourself a 99 cent notebook and take notes. When you mechanically, physically write notes, it doesn't have to be really verbose. It could be just bullet points. It's going to help everything stick. Ooh, two minutes. Oh, no, I have a notebook. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get down. This is my, I have a, a toolboard, but, you know, close enough. Reading is super important, but it only should be one of your tools. Here are some free resources in case you're new to Python. These are great. You can find them all on the web. They're free, and some of them even have videos to go with the resources. I like all of them, so just choose one that resonates with you. If you want to pay for something and dig deep, I highly recommend the book by Eric Mathis, uh, The Crash Course on Python. And then that one is really good, too, the real thick one, the comprehensive guy. You really want to get into it. Uh, you know, some people may say, hey, you just need to go read the docs. And don't get me wrong, the docs are awesome. Python.org, I love it. But it took me nine months to get there. When it's your first uh, quarter, if you will, your first 90 days, 
we need something that's much more user friendly. So I recommend something like one of these resources I just put up there. Let's take it a little bit further. How to build mental endurance. Well, if you don't like code, if you didn't like really get excited on a code snippet for everybody who was sharing today, it's gonna be tough, right? You really have to find pleasure in the code itself. And then here's a little trick that I use. Connect your learning session with something that you like. It could be chocolate, it could be wine, well maybe not wine, but <laughs> your favorite food or drink, or maybe a cafe or your backyard, some place that you really like. That will help you find pleasure in the learning so that you don't feel like it's work. And do something every day. Even if you don't, uh, you know, go out just do this massive app every day, at least do something. A little code snippet, um, look at positive quotes, talk to somebody about Python to keep you going. Now, with that expressed, I would submit to you that you should code every day, even if it's just a little bit. If all you have is just enough for a four week or a while loop, great. Do something. There's all kinds of things online like Packet Ranch and Checkout Go and et cetera, et cetera, where you can do these little code challenges. But I would suggest and highly recommend that you find a problem to solve, that you find an idea in your brain that you want to create, some kind of a program, and just start coding. It's so satisfying when you create something for yourself, like the chemist, and he's going through it, he's butt scraping, and he's using all these ideas. That's what's gonna make it stick with you. And don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do it. You can do anything in this world, in the world of Python. So just to recap, we talked about the three basic ways of getting in there and be, being diligent, being patient with yourself, using multiple resources. Don't leave your Python life to chance, right? Really find out what works for you, develop a plan, stick to it every day, come to events like this, and like it says in the screen there, the best way to predict your future in Python is to create it for yourself. So I hope you have a few tips in there that resonate for you.